Hey Huns, welcome back to my channel. Let's catch up. I have characters here from The Vampire Diaries, Gilmore Girls, One Tree Hill, Pretty Little Liars, The OC, Gossip Girl, Friday Night Lights, and Riverdale. First of all, I just want to say justice for Fat Hannah when they used to put her in that weird fat suit. Hi Huns, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Emma. You are so welcome here. I'm in my pajamas, I can't lie to you. I have been all day. I think I've done it, girls. <coughs> wow. Full comprehensive list of all of our teen TV show gorals. Never been done before. I don't know why, but I have a list of 29 gorals here. All teens, mostly white. Take that up with the CW and ABC family, just saying. So I put together some of my fave gals from my fave shows, and I just thought it'd be fun if we went through it, take a trip down nostalgia lane. Let's get into it. Let me explain these rankings for you guys. So we are ranking these gorals from Katherine Pierce to Elena Gilbert. No questions asked, okay, honey? Katherine Pierce, top tier from the Vampire Diaries, if you didn't know. And then the next tier is Yes Mama. Amazing, but just not on that Katherine Pierce level. And then there's We Were All Rooting For You. I was rooting for you! We were all rooting for- A couple of different ways that you could fit into this category where they were a letdown or Honestly, there are some characters that I feel like could have ascended, transcended even, had they been given more depth. And then there's Krusty Dusty, where you're just like, ugh. Bottom tier, Elena Gilbert. I have a vendetta against Elena Gilbert, also from The Vampire Diaries. She did her best. She had, she did get a, I don't want to say she had the worst hand in life, but I mean, her parents did die and they were vampire hunters, but also... She had the two hottest boyfriends of all time. Let's just put her straight in. Elena Gilbert goes in the tier. Elena Gilbert. Now I have characters here from The Vampire Diaries, Gilmore Girls, One Tree Hill, Pretty Little Liars, The OC, Gossip Girl, Friday Night Lights, and Riverdale. Now Riverdale actually I've only just started watching. I've only seen season one, so please no spoilers below. Right, bottom tier, Elena Gilbert. Top tier. Catherine Pierce. If you don't know Vampire Diaries, they're like doppelgangers of each other. This, I chose this image of Catherine when she, spoiler alert, dies, and this is her being dragged straight to hell. Next up we have Bonnie Bennett, Elena's best friend. Bonnie is so powerful. I feel like I just have such a bias. She's a Catherine Pierce. Bonnie has all these, no, actually, you know what, no. She died one too many times. I felt like Bonnie just kept dying. However, Caroline Forbes. Catherine Pierce tier. I am a huge Caroline stan. The show went on, she had more depth. Depth that I don't think they showed the same attention to as Bonnie, because Bonnie was always just getting screwed over by guys and then getting nosebleeds when she couldn't use her powers anymore. So justice for Bonnie, she didn't quite make it. Let's take a little trip just outside of Hartford, Connecticut to Stars Hollow. I grew up watching the Gilmore Girls. I feel like Gilmore Girls was the show that really transitioned me from the Disney Channel to like teen shows. So I'm a huge Gilmore Girls fan, okay? Rory Gilmore, however, she is the worst. When I was younger, I loved Rory, but then I rewatched it a couple of years ago as an adult and I was like, Rory, and here's, this is real character growth. I'm talking about myself now. I'm referring to myself when I say Megan. That I went from Team Rory to Team Paris. Paris Geller is one of the best TV characters of all time. However, I will give a special shout out to Rory Gilmore's Chilton graduation speech, the number one thing that I watched to upset myself. And it wouldn't be an Emma McGuigan video if I didn't tell you a way that I use to upset myself. I'll link it below. And then we have Lane Kim, and that is gonna be our first We Were All Rooting For You. Lane, I love. I feel like she was written in as a great best friend. Lane could have been a rock star, but instead she got pregnant with twins with Zach. Lane deserved better. She had so much more range. Mrs. Kim, icon of all icons. We were all rooting for Lane. She could have been Katherine Pierce but she stays where she stays. Now, moving on to one of my favorites. One Tree Hill. I feel like when I was younger, it was typical for me to like certain characters, and then when I got older, learned a little bit more about the world, and I don't know, just changed and grew myself. The next case in point really is Peyton Sawyer. I'm gonna have to put her in the middle tier though. We were all rooting for Peyton, but at the end of the day, like she did steal Lucas from Brooke twice. Her best friend, and that's why Brooke Davis is straight away 
Catherine Pierce. Brooke Davis, again, one of my favorite TV characters of all time. You know what, actually, I'm gonna have to move Caroline down to Yes Mama. She is not on the same level as Catherine Pierce, Paris Geller, and Brooke Davis, okay? Next up, Haley James Scott. I was rooting for her and that singing career, you know? But she did let Nathan mistreat her in the beginning, and then also when he got into that accident. So, really, Haley? And then we have Aria, Miss Get Your Gut, Get Your Nut with Ezra. Now we have Allison. Allison is definitely Catherine Pierce tier. Pretty Little Liars, the town, I can't remember the name of the town. It wasn't Ravenswood because that was the neighboring one, but it was actually filmed on the same set as Gilmore Girls. It was filmed in Stars Hollow. What is the name of the Pretty Little Liars town? Where was the show Pretty Little Liars set? This might answer your question. I know about 210,000 TV shows, including Game of Thrones, which was filmed in Japan. Alexa. No thanks. Comment below if you know. And now we have Hannah. First of all, I just want to say justice for Fat Hannah when they used to put her in that weird fat suit in the flashbacks. And when I say Fat Hannah, I mean Fat Hannah because that was just so horrible. She was good. She wasn't great because let's get to great. And that's Spencer. Hastings. Spencer, amazing. Love her. These two little stepsisters, half-sisters, they did share a sibling right next to each other. And then that brings us to Emily. <laughs> oh, Shane Mitchell. You are so sexy. She's just going into Yes Mama. I'm an LGBT icon. She's an LGBT icon. We love her. Yes Mama. Just can't, in my heart of hearts, put her into Catherine Pierce. Well, you mean? Anyway, next up we have Paige. And yes, I chose this picture of her because guess what it is? It's when she tried to drown Emily and then they started dating. She's going into Elena Gilbert. She's an attempted murderer, okay? And then after that, after like the exciting part of her being murderer wore off, she was just like the most annoying girlfriend ever. And now we have Mona Vanderwall. Has to be Catherine Pierce tier. But that makes me feel like I have to bump Spencer down. Mona and Allison are truly on another level to Spencer. Conniving, gorgeous, killers. Love it. Ladies, <coughs> let's take a trip to the Upper East Side. Okay, Serena Vander Woodson. Controversial, I'm just gonna do it. And if you agree with me, you're a real one. Serena is going straight into the Elena Gilbert. No, 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 sorry, sorry, no. She can go into Krusty Dusty because there's someone else that belongs in the Elena Gilbert tier from the Upper East Side that I was never really rooting for Serena. I'm a Blair girl at heart, okay? Let's make that clear, straight up to Katherine Pierce tier. Serena, I just didn't like. She just always made me cringe, I'm not gonna lie. But she's not quite the Elena Gilbert tier and that's because guess who is? Jenny, the rat. Even pre season three when she went absolutely crazy, girls, annoying, cringe, un- Grateful. And then we have Vanessa, Vanessa, Vanessa. She's definitely going in the we were all rooting for you. Vanessa, I feel like let herself down at every turn. Or remember when she stole Nate's letter to Jenny? Like, she's just crazy. I don't know why the Humphrey family, anyway. I don't know why the Humphrey family. And now we're moving to the OC. Let's start with Marissa Cooper. <laughs> yes, again, this picture was chosen on purpose. <laughs> Marissa and Serena are pretty similar to me. Summer Roberts. Summer Roberts, Blair Waldorf, the same. The real parallels between Gossip Girl and the OC. Also, Seth Cohen is now married to Blair Waldorf, aka Adam Brody and Leighton Meester, so hello. They're like Eskimo sisters up there, you know? We're taking it down, okay? From the OC, we're going down south to one of my favorite shows of all time, Friday Night Lights. It's about so much more than high school football, okay? I grew up in Texas, so it is such a nostalgic throwback for me. The golden girl, Lila Garrity. I actually like Lila, okay? That's a yes mama for me, it really is. I love Lila. Yes, she messed up with Tim Riggins, but who better to mess up with than Tim Riggins? And now we have Tyra. Tyra is definitely Catherine Pierce here. They, first of all, they try and string her out to be a hoe, like not likable, but she is that character that is, ends up having so much depth, is so likable, so strong, so resilient, so wholesome, always there for her friends, loyal, a queen, Catherine Pierce, tear, okay? And now we go to Julie Taylor. Julie Taylor, Coach Taylor's daughter, she's definitely an Elena Gilbert. 
I just feel like this, besides Paige, don't fucking look at her. You're always fucking looking at me, dude. The Elena Gilbert tier for me, it's always like the goody goodies that I just like, as a kid, I was like, love that. I need a little bit of edge. Now this brings us to Riverdale. So like I said, I'm still watching Riverdale, only just started in this quarantine. I've only seen season one and a couple episodes of season two. And obviously like this might not be completely accurate based off like where Riverdale is now. Well, let's just get this out of the way. Cheryl Blossom, Catherine Pierce tier. Love her, and also I hear that she starts a girl-on-girl -girl relationship in a couple seasons, and I just love that. Don't spoil anything. Don't zone zoo it. Don't zone zoo it. And now we have Veronica. Now, I actually used to love Archie comics as a kid. I literally have a book of, like, Betty, Ver Betty and Veronica comics, and I've always been a Veronica girl. That has got to be a yes mama. And now we have Betty. Betty... I'm not going to put her in the Elena Gilbert goody two-shoes category because I'm rooting for her. That's why. I'm rooting for Betty. I want to see more and I'm ready. Wow. And not too many crusty dusties. So don't ever tell me I'm not a feminist. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I literally just had the time of my life. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys are all safe. Love you, huns. Bye.